What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video, we've got a head-to-head -head competition between BZ Miner and SRB Miner for the top efficiency spot when mining ironfish. Now, I know there's been a ton of videos over the last couple of days on how to mine ironfish upon mainnet launch. Let's take a look at how much time we have left before the mainnet launches. So, at the time of recording, we've got one hour and 53 minutes left before the mainnet countdown here. And there's been a lot of YouTubers making videos on how to mine ironfish. You've got Red Panda Mining put out a video yesterday. Rabid Mining has put out several videos over the past few days. Uh, we've even got Chump Change XD also put out a video on how to mine ironfish. We've got few others I think Hawk put out a video as well yep yesterday actually today about three hours ago and then I think the mining king also put out a video earlier well it was about 12 hours ago so everybody's covering ironfish right now and I'm sure uh, there's a lot of speculation on why and you know we've already gone over the tokenomics and obviously this is a vc coin so expect a lot of promotion around this project now that could be really good for price in the future in the near term but could be really bad for price in the future for the long term so after a year we're looking at staking unlocks and and vcs able to sell some of their coins but for right now you know, the way emission curves work, you're going to garner the most amount of coin mining it as soon as it launches. So let's take a look at where difficulty is at right now. So prior to mainnet launch, about two hours prior, we're sitting at 706 terahash. So by the time you guys are watching this video, and most likely by the time mainnet launches, we're probably going to be well over... Well, we may be in the petahash territory, so I don't know what that's going to mean for profitability, but, you know, everybody wants to know what's the most efficient thing to use to mine. And in all of these videos, everybody is talking about using SRB miner specifically on hero miners pool. And I've got some good news for you. You have other options now. Uh, one of those options is going to be BZ Miner, who just put out a couple of different betas last night and this morning. Uh, bless his heart, I know he's been working hard to get this working. And that's what I am going to compare against SRB Miner right now. Now, I think that Rigel Miner also has a beta version as well. And Team Red Miner has also just came out with one also, but that one's only for AMD cards. Now, I'd like to compare Rigel Miner on this, but time is of the essence, so I'm trying to get this to you guys as quickly as possible. Let's go ahead and take a look at Hive OS. So, right now, I have it using SRB Miner version 2.2.4, and we are mining specifically to Hero Miner's pool. And as you can see, this is the hash rate that we're getting, so 9.135 giga hash at 78 watts or all the way up to 85 watts or 86 watts and that's pretty good compared to the rest of the miners on different pools however with this new beta version from bz miner uh, we're going to increase significantly and we don't have to use hero miners to do it so let's take a look at this flight sheet real quick so we're on Ironfish, got it going to my Coral Wallet on Flexpool. And if you take a look at the extra arguments, we have nothing extra. Pretty simple. However, I did have to install the beta version. So let me show you guys how to do that. So we're going to launch this flight sheet. Go back to the overview page. And what you're going to do is you're going to run Hive Shell Start. And then you're going to go and you're going to copy this command from BZ Miner. I'll put it down in the description below, but sometimes these uh, copy and paste don't always work very well. So I'll leave a, a comment also with this command. And let's refresh this. 
and we'll go ahead and pull up the hive shell so from here we're gonna right click paste from browser right click paste again hit OK and then here you would hit enter now I'm not gonna hit enter because I've already installed the beta version but once it's done you want to confirm that you are using the beta version up here so notice it says version 14.2.0 however when I put my cursor over it it says version 14.2.1b3 that part is imperative so it takes a little while for BZ miners hash rates to ramp up so we're gonna give this just a little bit of time and you'll see now you may have one rejected share initially I think that's pretty common uh, it looks like I had a ton of rejected shares on hero miners with his first beta release which was 1b1 or 1b2 I'm not sure uh, but at about 2 o'clock this morning he put out another beta version and that cleaned that up and so here we are 11.26 giga hash at 78 watts as compared to what we were doing with SRB miner which was 9.114 at 78 watts and that is a total increase of 23 percent which is significantly better now of course we're looking at a minor screen so we don't know for certain that we're going to garner more shares but I think that that is going to be the case and we'd have to do a long-term test on a static difficulty pool in order to determine for certain which is the best miner but based off of what we're seeing here it uh, definitely looks like BZ Miner is outperforming SRB Miner. Now stay tuned for some more videos in the future. We'll cover Rigel Miner and we'll also cover Team Red Miner. And uh, before you go, if you would, do me a favor. Hit that like and if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will see you guys on the next video. Hey, for those of you guys who stuck around for a minute, I bet there's somebody out there probably wanting to know what exchange Iron Fish is listing it on. And I took the time to read through their Discord. And apparently, I'm not the only one asking this question. Uh, earlier this morning, someone said, when exchange list, same date with mainnet. And somebody responded and said, this is unknown because Iron Fish is based in the U.S. They cannot disclose any exchange listing information and there will be no ICO event or anything like that. Essentially, the exchanges have to list and announce so I'm not certain what exchanges there are going to be uh, but I did also want to point out that there are other pools that you can mine to you don't have to just stick to hero miners or flex pool uh, you've got cryptex you've got ZK uh, H pool F2 pool and easel dot me so there's some other options out there so maybe give some of those other ones a try you know as far as being on the pool with the most hash rate we want to try and decentralize this as much as we can so just something to consider anyways that's it i'll see you guys on the next one